They're like, you gotta like wax on, carry, and drag. Right? The truth is, that's really more of like a, a Greco-Roman kind of drag because drags, I want this guy to lean on me. So this isn't wrong, this roll isn't wrong, but you can't really drag a guy unless I have a guy pressuring me inside here. Now I can create pressure by one, just being a bully, right? Especially in college. In college now we got the out of bounds line, the ref's gotta call somebody for Stone Austin's gotta press back and he's gotta lean on me. So that's one way. That's one way you can set a drag. So doing that, just start with your basic drag. What I want you to get out there and focus on right now is getting inside, taking head position, and your partner being a partner, right? And you pressure him a little bit and then pressure him back. Enough that you can drill it, but enough that he's not fighting you right now. And so here's my goal of the drag. When I come inside, this is the guide hand. This just clears it so I don't pull Austin into my hips. This one just bumps in, right? It comes in and bumps it off. The key is getting this hand in the armpit. I want to get it high in the armpit, and I should have enough lean for my partner. And if it's done correctly, when I whip and pull here, he starts going hands to the mat in this position. A lot of times, you'll find yourself in this position where he hits a three-point or four-point stance, and he's trying to recover, and you'll be here chasing and running your knees up behind. Let him in. Maybe playing with the wrist a little bit. Right? Inside pushing a little bit. And if I don't like his hands, if he's thumb blocking me, I'll chop him off and get back to where I let my hand set. And now my hand is set inside. And then as it's set inside, he's leaning on me. I'm going high to the armpit. And then I'm going to transfer my feet out of there. Now here's what I try to focus on to get the pressure right. Is I always try to get my shoulder behind the guy's tricep. If I can go from here to here, now I know I cleared him, and to get there I had to move my feet, and there's a lot of weight behind that arm now. So pressure it, maybe clear and chop it, I don't like his hands, right? And I'll guide a guy, the best is when he's on my elbow, and you saw I just put him there. He was here originally, posted on my shoulder. I'm inside, chop him off, I block him off. I take my elbow in, so he's got to take it. He's leaning on me. And now, I'm going to take my body weight away where he has nothing to lean on. If I do this, he starts coming forward. And that, in combination with this, he's going forward. And now I'm getting him down toward the mat. What you chase depends. Sometimes I'll drag the guy go right to his face, right? Oh, he's here because the whip was good. Sometimes he goes into that four-point stance, right? Here, oh, I'm chasing the back. I'm pinching him with my knees. Maybe I can transfer into here. All could happen. But without that lean, you can't get him whipping by. And again, that drag is armpit. The armpit is what's going to create that motion and get him going. Here. That's where the whip happens. And then the lean only adds to it here. Chasing this guy down to the back. Questions? All right. One, two.